we're standing right by alongside Highway 195 at the Cheney Spokane Road exit, commonly known as the uh, Pullman Highway. Uh, this highway really is a high speed state highway divided uh, two lanes in each direction. And really when it was built, uh, a lot of the development that we're seeing today really wasn't planned. And then when it was permitted, uh, the type of improvements that were needed to be put in, like uh, overpasses and interchanges, were really never planned for. So we, we have a real problem here, and it's caused real safety concerns. That, unfortunately, we've had two fatalities just this year. It's now, if you look at the last 10 years, it's now the fourth most dangerous stretch of highway in the state. The solution, well, a couple things. This last session, uh, I was able to get an appropriation for 250000 to build what's called a deceleration lane. And that's going to come right over here. And the idea being that we're, we don't want cars turning on and cars at high speed turning off in the same general area. So we'll be able to separate that traffic. Now that's just short term. But long term, the solution for this particular area, thanks to the help of Senator Patty Murray, we're able to get $2 million in federal dollars to help purchase the right of way and engineer an interchange that'll go right here. And we're hopeful in the next transportation budget, we can get the $11 million or so it'll take to finish that project. Now, this is just one intersection. There's three problem intersections. The next being Meadow Lane Road, the next being Hatch Road, and eventually to build all those out, it's gonna be 120 million, but safety concerns and congestion will not get any better along this corridor because we're gonna see a lot more growth. And I'm committed over the next few budgets to see what we can do to continue to improve safety, not only with these big improvements, but other things. For instance, uh, enforcement patrols, where you have the state patrol uh, enforcing a 50 mile an hour speed limit. Right now, a lot of this traffic coming by here is at 65 miles an hour or more. That creates some real problems when you have someone coming from a side road and trying to negotiate past traffic. So there's a number of things we can do. Some of it's gonna require money. Some of it just requires it being a priority.